He's fired up. And Roberto has been really fun to watch today. We've seen a new element to his game. A lot of leg lock entries here, and also making use of those into some fun scrambles. Absolutely. I'm really excited to see how this final turns out. Lucas has been showing consistency, crazy pressure, a really great fake there. Although Bebeto didn't bite on it, I think I did. <laughs> I thought he was going to pull guard. Very interesting. Sort of a sort of a forty seconds late penalty for Bebeto here. Apparently did not pull guard with a grip. Hard to see in that uh mm. in that initial exchange. But of course that's the value of having the replays here at the IBJJF. And Lucas Pinheiro turning the intensity up a, di a dial more intense. Yeah, I didn't think that was possible, but he knows what's on the line here. Gold medal waiting at the end of this tunnel for one of these athletes. Bit of a stalemate here, the first two minutes of the match. Only thing separating these two competitors is one penalty given to Carlos Oliveira, otherwise known as Bebeto. Oh, Lucas Pinheiro now going for the double under, which gives Bebeto this opportunity to underhook with his left arm. On the right arm of Lucas Pinheiro, maybe look for the arm saddle we've been seeing all weekend. Yeah, that's definitely been ingrained in just about every high-level athlete out here this weekend. If you guys aren't doing your homework on the arm saddle, time to start drilling that. Oh, oh and Pinheiro putting that pressure from the side now. Looks like he's got a good bite. Now, I've heard it said about Lucas Pinheiro that he's as fast as a light featherweight, but as strong as a middleweight. I believe it. I felt the squeeze. It's insane. Well, when you're, and you're also talking about the measuring, the measuring stick for middleweights for Lucas Pinheiro is middleweights in Autos Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> that is a, a worthwhile note to make there. But the side-to-side the -side agility of Lucas Pinheiro is equally important, too. He really just wears down his opponents you know i feel i feel i've been saying that a lot today but there's different ways of doing it and i feel like lucas hits all of them <laughs> somehow. yeah so, and one thing i love seeing out of pinheiro as opposed to a lot of the different uh stalling calls that we've seen today is he's moving side to side with the intent of moving forward he's trying to open things up side to side he's not moving side to side to feign going forward he's actually trying to open up bebeto here As I say that, Bebeto now with a small opportunity, it looks like to get a leg entanglement of his own going, throwing his right leg all the way through. Seems like he's got a 
pretty okay lock to come up. We saw him try to do that in one of his earlier matches as well, throw the Reap through to get on his feet. That's right, as someone maybe tries a running man escape or something similar, Roberto follows them, chasing the back. But they don't even necessarily have to turn away, as we've seen. He just wants to get on top and maybe force it easy, too. see the ferocity of Lucas Pinheiro here in this position as well. Trying to move to the side, Bebeto pushing him away. Just over the halfway point. So far, Bebeto has been hard-pressed to find any opening on Lucas Piero, and Lucas is still trying to open him up going forward. As I say that, once again, the commentator's curse. Lucas Pinheiro, sort of a mean-looking wrist lock. looking like an Americano over his own calf. Just over three minutes to go. Connects his hands behind the back of Oliver making it's pretty uncomfortable, though not necessarily being able to go very far with that, advancing his position. Not while on the closed guard, at least. Piero has to be careful possibly staying in this position as well with his hand on the neck like that especially with Bebeto opening his legs if he incurs a stalling call he's going to lose the lead that he has and it may be coming very shortly here They're both going to incur a stalling call. I was wondering why the action was stopped, and that was the purpose of that. Understood. 
Lucas Pinheiro must be somewhat relieved of that situation. He would not want to be tied at this point. Beto has thrown an, an overhook now. Seems he's really pushing with his right foot on that hip pretty hard to try to open up Lucas Pinheiro here with one minute left. Say it again, Chase. I mean, Lucas Pinheiro not exactly. Well, now he's up and he's moving forward again. So that's going to reset that that clock. But Beto needs to get moving. He needs to invert and make something happen if he wants to make back this score. Here he goes, trying to get up. With just a little bit of time left. Up on a single! And that is gonna conclude the match. Looks like Lucas Pinheiro is gonna be your world champion. And your 2022 male light heavyweight champion is Lucas Pinheiro, representing Atos Jiu-Jitsu. He's worked long and hard for this. The gold medal is his.